Hello, these are my main crop potatoes. They've been growing around the other side of the garden, uh, but as you can see, they're finished now. And so I brought them around this side of the garden to harvest them. Um, I had about 12 bags of potatoes to start with, three potatoes growing in each, uh, and different varieties. Uh, and two months ago, uh, these potato tops were as high as the garden fence, they were three or four foot tall. Um, but they fell away and they died back, and I trimmed them off. And this is what we're left with. So these potatoes are finished now, they're not growing, they're ready to be harvested. Okay, these ones here are Maris Piper. If you take a look, you can see there's, there's no more growth there. That's Maris Piper. These are Nicola, and as you can see, Nicola is well and truly finished. There's no more growing there. And these here are Romano. And Romano's finished. Okay. Now all these potatoes were planted at the same time. If I have a look at this ticket, these potatoes were planted on the 10th of March. So they've all been in the same length of time. And they've all died back and they've all been uh, ready, uh, become ready to harvest at the same time. Um, but not all of the potatoes went this way. Some of them are still actually growing, which makes me suspect that perhaps these particular potatoes, Maris Piper, Nicola Romano, uh, have been affected by something maybe even blight. Um, <clears throat> but fortunately, uh, this year, and through YouTube, um, and through other gardeners in particular, I've discovered that um, there is a blight-resistant potato out there. Comes with a big reputation. Um, Sapo Mira, you've probably heard of it. You might even be growing it. Okay, so these guys were planted and stood in the corner of the garden to grow on. And in among those, in bags, just like this, planted at the same time, was Sapo Mira. So if these guys have been affected by blight, you would expect Sapo Mira, if it wasn't blight resistant, to be affected by the same blight and look exactly like this. Let me bring in the star of the show. This is Sapo Mira. Okay, Sapo Mira hasn't been affected by whatever affected these guys. Sapo Mira is still growing. So I think that's um, probably proved positive that if these guys have been struck down by blight, Sapo Mira is indeed blight resistant. So what I'm going to do is I'll harvest these bags of potatoes first because as you can see there's no more growing left in those and we'll leave sap or murder till later. Uh, we won't harvest sap or murder till these tops go back. Uh, and I suspect that we've not got blight, these guys would still have tops on them and they would still be growing. So I'm probably expecting small potatoes out of these three bags. Certainly not as big as these guys, because these guys are still growing. I expect some uh, some nice chippers out of this uh, tomato. So there you have it. Okay, so I'm not going to harvest these just yet, um, because we've got potatoes indoors. I'll harvest these when we need them. That's, that's the time to do it. And sap tomato is going to continue to grow on and make some lovely big potatoes. I expect. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Um, I hope it's been informative. It certainly learned me something about South Amero. Um, this is Homegrown Veg, signing off. <laughs>